hello family welcome back to my youtube channel my name is melvis and i am your girl with the curly hair i am really sorry you guys for the long period of silence right uh especially as someone who has put out content here on the importance of staying consistent i for one should do better when it comes to being consistent in putting out content for you guys uh, but to be honest sometimes it really gets overwhelming and there are days when you wake up and you're not inspired and you cannot inspire if you're not inspired right and on those days i can't give out what i don't have and i don't want to come out here and try to inspire someone when i myself i don't feel inspired and i'm not trying to give excuses here i'm so grateful that you guys have been supporting me right up to this moment and i want to do better even as we get into 2023 so thank you for staying with me on this channel and supporting me all the way. I really do appreciate it. Today guys, I just wanted to come on here and unpack a little bit of how 2022 has been for me personally and to just have a real conversation basically and you know, maybe just talk about some of the things how I am spending the last days of 2020 so even as we have uh, i've put out content this year i thought that it was important that maybe i put out a video at the end of this year just to you know talk with you guys catch up and you know give a thing or two of what i've learned uh in 2022 that i'm taking into 2023 and so without wasting so much time let's just get straight into the video <music> for me you guys has been a lot as in a lot i have i have had to learn this year to unlearn and to learn and i think it's going to be so broad if i have to talk about everything or if i have to unpack everything here so maybe we talk about how it has been for me spiritually i think 2022 i am coming from a place of retreat where i just wanted to see god's face for my 2023 to know what god has for me what god is saying basically about 2022 as concerns me and to look at the goals that i set for myself at the start of 2022 to know how far i accomplished them and to set out new goals and you know just uh know how to navigate into 2023 and i think that as believers it's so important for us especially in crucial moments in our life life-changing moments where we are transitioning into a new year. It could be your birthday and just these uh, important uh, moments in our lives. I think it's really important that we take our time to just go on a retreat, just disconnect from social media, disconnect from, from people or whatever you think that is a distraction to you and just spend time with the creator, just spend time to fellowship with the Holy Spirit, to hear what God is saying uh, concerning that period in your life. Like now it's a new year we are looking into. I think that as well, as believers that we are, we should spend a day or two at least to just spend time fellowshipping with God and pray into our new year and hear what God is saying for our year. I don't think any believer should just march into a new year like that. And that's why I'm so happy that I have grown so much in 2022 because before, to be honest, like maybe when I was moving into 2021, there was never a time where I thought that I should take out time to go on a retreat or any of that. I would just march into a new year or I would spend the, the 31st just praying into the new year. That was the highest I did. So when I look back at my life, I am so proud of how, how far, not proud, but I'm so proud of how far I have come, of how far the Holy Spirit has done a thorough work of just transformation and all of that. So when I was looking at the goals that I set for myself at the start of 2022, I... I was happy pretty much that I was able to, you know, really uh, accomplish some of the things, the spiritual goals that I had. But more than be happy, I was disappointed because I noticed that there were very key things that, you know, when I was getting to 2022, I was like, really like I'm moving in with this fire. I'm going to do this thing. I'm going to do this thing. And we are a few days, a day uh, to 2023, and I have not accomplished those things. And I was just like, why? No, why have you not done this thing? Why were you not able to do this thing? And I will say that in saying the thing that I'm moving into 2023 with, especially when it comes to spirituality, 
I have learned the importance of accountability. And what do I mean by accountability? Just having someone in your life, maybe it could be a spiritual father, it could be a mentor, uh, it could just be someone that you look up to spiritually, that you're answerable to, that you know that the person at this point in time, the person who asks you, what have you done when it comes, like you had these goals that you set for yourself. How much of scripture have you, or books of the Bible are you studying at this point? What is God saying at this particular point in your life? We should have someone like that in our lives. And it's just recently that I understood how important it is. And I, I mean, I've had people in my life that would encourage me, that would be like, Mel, what is God saying about this stage in your life and all of that. But I've not had like a spiritual, you know, that would hammer, that would be like when I, in those moments when I'm just slacking, I'm like, you know what, I have this person to answer to at the end of the month. Like if I'm not able to do this thing or achieve this spiritual goal, I have this person that I'm answerable to. And I think that's the biggest take away for me. That's the biggest thing I'm taking into 2023. And I just can't wait to, you know, get into 2023 and start it with the right food. So uh, I'm just saying it in a bit to encourage someone who maybe you've been struggling to, you don't have someone who would always un encourage you. You don't have someone who you're accountable to. Move into 2023 with the spirit of accountability. Have someone you are someone you are accountable to, especially spiritually. Have someone that if you are studying scriptures and you don't know, you don't understand this thing, or there's a particular point in your life where you are not understanding, where you are kind of backsliding. Have someone who will pull you up, who would pray with you and for you. It's so important. We I cannot overemphasize the importance. Thank God that I I in looking at my 2022, I'm able to know that this is one of the reasons why I have been unable to um, to accomplish all of the goals that I had. So moving forward, I would definitely do better. And that is why I'm sharing, not only for myself, but for someone who may have been in a similar situation or someone who doesn't have a spiritual father or mother or who doesn't even know what that means. Moving forward to other areas of my life that I just want to un unpack a little bit, I will talk about maybe... Mentally, this year has been challenging for me. And I would say that if not for my relationship with God, maybe I would have been depressed at some point in my life this year. Because this year was a lot. There were days when I just cried myself to sleep. There were days when I didn't even want to wake up. But because I had people in my life too. And this is another thing I would say. Talk to someone when you're dealing with, uh, when you're going through difficult situations. I know that sometimes we want to keep things to ourselves. We don't want to bother people with the struggles that we are going through. But have one genuine person, one person that you can talk to if you're going through a lot. We've seen situations of people through, throughout 2022 who seemed to be happy in the outside, right? And they committed suicide. And we cannot just wrap our heads around it. What happened? Did they not have someone they could talk to? They were definitely going through a lot. But maybe there were these people where everybody expected the best of them or because they were happy. People would not have even believed that they were going through a lot. So I would say this. I am learning the importance of talking to someone when it gets difficult. You are not an island. Have someone that you talk to. Reach out to your loved ones. Find out how they are doing. Don't just go wait for someone to commit suicide and then you're there in DMs or status to say, oh, uh, if you have issues, talk with someone. Move into 2023 with the mentality that I will talk to someone if I'm going through difficult situations. But above talking to someone, I would have my own relationship with God. Because God, only God can save us. No matter how much people will talk to you and encourage you, in the end, God only can comfort you without judgment, without uh, caring whatever situation or whatever thing you have done in your life, right? And also, I think... Uh, yeah, 2022, I I went all out. I I learned, I grew up. I was genuinely happy for my friends. Whether you were doing better than me or not, I'm genuinely supporting my friends, no matter, irrespective of whether you're doing better than me or not. I have come to that place where I know that all things are working out for my good. It doesn't matter if today something is not working out for me and it's working out for you. I will be happy for you because I know that in the end, when God says all things are working out for my good, it means all things. So it may not be working out today, but I have the assurance that in the end, eventually it will work out. And I think that sometimes we should give ourselves credit when we 
grow up in some of these little things when we realize that some of the things that we struggled with before and we are no longer struggling with them give yourself credit and yeah i'm really happy moving into 2023 i definitely uh uh, uh enjoyed 2022 even though it was a difficult year i would say that it was difficult but yet it was fulfilling and i'm so grateful that at this point in my life i am moving into 2023 uh, with a mindset with a, from a place where I do understand what God wants from me. I do understand how I'm moving into the year. I am able to have set out, uh, set down goals for my life, spiritually, financially, relationship wise, wise, mentally, and in other areas of my life. And I would just want to, I just want to encourage someone. Uh, like I said, if you, we are in the last day of 2022, right? And if you have not taken out a day to, or two days or three days to go on a personal retreat and just communion, fellowship with God, hear what he's saying for your 2023, please do so. The essence of a retreat is to fellowship with God, to hear what he's saying, to know the way forward. Don't move into 2023 like uh, an unbeliever. Don't move into 2023 without setting our goals people don't so yeah i hope that this video would help someone today thank you very much for watching my video today you guys and i cannot wait to see you guys on the other side so i pray for you and encourage you that may god uh, be with you may he cause his face to shine upon you and may he be gracious and kind to you and i will see you on the other side in 2023 merry christmas and a happy new year see you guys Bye.